Tomorrow I'll be waking up early to run my first 100k ultramarathon, the Serpent Trail 100k. Very, very excited about this one. So it's 3.30 in the morning. Um, sleep was pretty challenging last night, but I think I managed to get a pretty good rest. Yeah, looking forward to this. Right, time to jump in the car and uh, head to the start of the race. It's a beautiful morning. Right, guys. Right, guys. 2k in, just making our way up the first, first bigger kill. Uh, taking it easy. Yeah, trying to keep it really controlled. 5k in. Just getting near to the top of the uh, first hill. Oh, just trying to take it super easy. Keep my heart rate as low as possible. Oh, that's not a bad view. Yeah. Ah, and the downhill begins. Just hit 10k in an hour and 10 minutes. So really, really keeping it comfortable so far. Uh, much more controlled than than the last race. So yeah, going well. Oh, 15k in. Just gone through the first checkpoint, through the first aid station. So yeah, moving well. Yeah, feeling good at the moment. Oh, it's a lovely day today. It's about. 18 degrees, 18, 20 degrees. Perfect weather for running. It's nice and dry, good weather. The course isn't super easy to follow and the GPS file doesn't perfectly match the route. So yeah, having a few challenging navigational points. Just hit 20K in an hour and 18 minutes. First 10K was really controlled. Last 10K, probably a bit less controlled, but on pace, this is kind of on track for a 12 hour finish if uh, I kind of maintain this momentum and keep my heart rate in control. So yeah, happy with that. All right, let's get going. This is amazing. Oh. Just gone through the second aid station. Yeah. 27k in, moving well. Probably letting my heart rate go up a bit too much. Gonna try and ease off a bit now for the next 20k at least. All right, let's get moving. 29k in. Oh, just come into this beautiful valley. It's amazing. Yeah. Slowly making my way up this hill. Just hit 30k in three hours 28. So moving really well, probably running a bit hard, but no, just about to go into the big descent. And then we got the three big hills lined up in a row. So yeah, making good progress, but I think the next 20k is gonna be quite hard. Oh, but it is quite a nice day, much better than expected. Just about to hit the second of the four big hills. Once I get to uh, 50k, I should be good. I'm uh, 34k in now, so uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a 10k of hard work and then we've broken the back of this race. Oh, there we go, top of the second hill, it's a really nice cool breeze up here, really nice. It's definitely got a bit warm going up that hill. Oh. So just went through the third aid station. So 41k in four hours 52. I took it a bit slower in the last 10k uh, because of a bit more hilly. Yeah, still moving really well. And at the moment, my body is holding up pretty well. Like legs are starting to get a bit tired, like muscles and joints, but not massively. So yeah, given that I'm just coming up on a marathon, pretty bloody happy with that. Wow. This is pretty beautiful. I'm 44k in, been running for 5 hours and 20 minutes. Um, 
legs are feeling a bit sore but not too bad um stomach seems to be doing something weird some uh, minor pains little cramps but nothing major probably just because of all the calories i've been putting in um but no moving well nearly at the uh halfway aid station at petworth where i've got my drop bag so yeah i'll be able to top up on nutrition and stuff there really enjoying this 48k in just making my way up the third of the uh four hills and then once i get over the top of this i've got about 2k to petworth the halfway point so yeah get through petworth then get over that final hill and then feel like it's smooth sailing to the finish i just hit 50k in five hours and 58 so just coming down into petworth now where the uh midway aid station is I've got my drop bag there so i'm gonna top up on nutrition and have a bit of a have a bit of eat but if i can attain this pace i'll be very very happy if i hit if i do this in under 12 hours i'll be amazed more likely it's probably gonna slow down towards the end and i'll probably be about 12 and a half hours but yeah really happy with how this is going very windy here just been through the petworth aid station managed to uh stock up on some uh some more snacks got some crisps and some uh some more gels just making my way up the hill that leads out of petworth and then once i get over this big hill it's mostly all flat now to the end so very very happy with that absolutely stunning out here oh 58k in just over seven hours yeah moving quite well still that uh that aid station stop at uh, petworth really perked me up gave me a lot of energy and the legs are still going well no uh no major cramp or anything like that had like a twinge at 40k but yeah still moving well really happy with how this is going all right let's get going i just hit 60k in seven hours 16 and it is a lovely day looking at the forecast even yesterday and it was forecast to rain and now look it's just blue skies just lovely oh 65k in just been for another aid station i have fully lost track of how many aid stations i've been through but yeah still moving really well had a few twinges of cramp but been using salt tabs and it's working pretty well to get rid of it i'm gonna stop worrying about my heart rate now i've been running for seven hours 50. it's really starting to warm up now though so uh yeah maybe i should have worn sun cream well we'll see if i regret that tomorrow the AK in still moving been running for eight hours 20 just trying to keep away the cramp at the moment but still moving oh. Oh, it's beautiful out here just hit 70k in eight hours 30 minutes feeling pretty tired now but still moving 30k to go just got to keep the cramp at bay but yeah really happy with how this is going and such a lovely route oh having a lovely day it's really been a while now since i uh caught up with somebody you know 72k in i'm running starting to pick up the pace now starting to run a bit harder yeah it might not be faster but the effort's definitely increasing but yeah this field seems much more spread out now only time I'm really seeing people is at the aid stations. 30k to go. Just going to start pushing it now. My biggest worry is that I'm uh, running low on salt tablets. Even though I had a fresh packet of 50k. Energy wise, yeah I'm tired but I'm still moving. I'm okay. Really struggling with the navigation at times. Not the easiest route to follow. But it is stunning out here. 
What a beautiful trail. Oh, I'm 77k in now. Um, been running for nine hours and 15, but I'm really moving now. Um, I don't know, it might not be, but I feel like this is the fastest I've run all day, but probably not, but yeah, definitely uh, pushing it a bit more now. Uh, the only thing, the, the only challenge I've got at the moment is the cramp. Um, just had some crisps and at the uh, last aid station, uh, but yeah, moving really well. 25k, yeah, really happy with how this is going. Oh, yeah, starting to push it towards the end of a 100k ultra. Oh, never thought that would be happening, but yeah, really enjoying this. Oh, 80k in, in about 9 hours 35. Oh, yeah, I'm really moving now, but cramp is definitely uh, the big issue at the moment. Such a nice day. I just need more salt tabs. 82k, got 20k to go. Been running for 9 hours 54. Definitely going into unknown territory now. Longest distance and longest time on a run ever. Energy levels are starting to drop now, but it's amazing how uh, the energy levels have been up for so long. But uh, the real challenge now is cramp. Pretty much all of my uh, muscles in my legs are like on the verge of cramping up. So as long as I can keep moving, I, uh, I'll be happy. 88k in been running for 10 hours 34 oh, really struggling now energy levels are really dropping at the moment oh, but I'm enjoying this hill the cramp seems to have gone away for a bit which is always good 92k 11 hours oh nearly there oh, this is uh, going surprisingly well 94k 11 hours and 14. Oh, slowly getting there. Oh, this is a bit of a struggle now. Oh, 96k in now. Oh, really struggling, but I'm about 6k away now. So, oh, bloody happy. Oh, let's get this done. Oh, I can see the finish line of my first 100k. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Oh, come on, come on, nice come on. on. <laughs> and you're done. Well done. Good effort. Thank you. Yeah. Well done, mate. Awesome. Oh. Well done. Yeah, thank you. Absolutely yeah. epic. Oh. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Print out of your time. Thank you. Well done. Oh. Oh. Done. That was amazing. So that was the Serpent Trail 100k. Um, I completed it in 12 hours and 11 minutes. It was an absolute dream race. Like it couldn't have gone better. I'm gonna do a full recap video, but I just wanted to say a few quick things. Quite a few people came up and said they'd watched the videos and it's really cool. It's really nice to meet all of you. The marshals and volunteers at the race were amazing as well. Um, it makes such a big difference when you're exhausted. And finally, I got to meet Lloyd Purvis from Run For Adventure, so that was a, a big highlight for me. Had a good chat with him, um, which was, yeah, pretty cool. So yeah, that's all. It was, uh, it was a pretty perfect day. Couldn't really have asked for anything more, but yeah. Hope you enjoyed this. Cheers for watching. All right, cheers, bye.